Can you believe that, Travis? <clears throat> My bench points would have beat you. I can't believe this. <clears throat> I had the worst game for my starters and I it's so tough when you have that many good receivers who to start and of course I start the wrong ones but Jordy Nelson hasn't really done that well with this new guy and all of a sudden he finally gets 20 points from him Fitzgerald has a great game 18 points my defense I was like do I play since you know what I almost started Cincinnati um, that morning because I heard the weather is going to be bad but I'm thinking Arizona's playing Jacksonville. Jacksonville just came off a big win. I think Arizona's going to just pummel them. Well, I missed that one, too. And then my tight end gets hurt. So now Gates blows up on my bench. And then Bobby Rainey. What the heck? Yeah. I should have won my bench with you. Oh, well. Nothing really I can do with my starters there. I don't think I would have changed. The only thing I would have changed is maybe Keenan Allen. For Larry Fitzgerald, and that's would have just made my loss that much more horrible. So I'm gonna do my uh, video Monday morning, hoping I am not gonna jinx you, Efren. I don't think I will. The way that the Devils' year has been, he's gonna end up blowing this game. He's up by like what 20? Was it 10? 27? I don't know. It's gonna be close. Your Devils is up by 27. He's got you got Cam Newton, Gronkowski, and Steven Gostkowski left. I am assuming you should get 27 points from those three guys. I mean, you should hopefully get 20 alone from Cam Newton, 15 from Gronkowski, and hopefully six from Gostkowski, which clearly is over 27. So you should win, Dragons. Clobbers the bad influence. It's like, and you know what's even crazier about that, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's right. I forgot you traded Ray Rice, so you don't have, you don't have Ray Rice, which is funny because Ray Rice, where is he at? Got 30 points. You trade him, and Ray Rice wakes up. <laughs> that is awesome. But you got Lashawn McCoy from me. Got 36 points, which obviously the trade that we made obviously didn't work out too well because Drew Brees only got 27, and Ed, Arian Foster, where is he? Oh, he's not even playing. He's done. I'm, I'm kind of regretting my trade, kind of not. I don't know. We'll see. Come playoff time, if Drew Brees can step it up. So, uh, oh, my gosh. I didn't see how bad Bush's my forte got clobbered by Gilkison. Clobbered by Gilkison. That trade just did something. Some woke up some magic for him. Because it wasn't like it was only Ray Rice he really got in this trade. Antonio Brown got 33 and Calvin Johnson got 36. Eli. Eli got 25. That's huge. I mean, Eli's used to getting under 20. How bad did you do, Mark? Reggie Bush, not doing too hot anymore. What is up? I mean, I was expecting him to get like six catches a game. They're not even throwing him the ball. Man, what a waste of Chris Johnson's wonderful week. Chris Johnson finally has a wonderful week, and your wide receivers all suck. Same with your kicker, and same with your defense. Wow. Okay. I know the Chiefs defense is good, but you're playing the Broncos, and you left the Buffalo Bills defense on the bench playing the Jets in Buffalo. I mean, come on, man. That's a no-brainer. Buffalo's going to get at least 15 points. <clears throat> you still would have lost, so it doesn't matter. But I'm just saying. It's just perspective. And then the Sea of Red... Is currently up by how much? 89, 99, uh, 24 points. Okay. I hope I don't jinx you, Sea of Red. <coughs> the groupers still has Steven Ridley to go. So, I hope I don't jinx you, but you should win. Steven Ridley against Carolina's Stout. They 
Carolina's got a pretty stout defense. So, and it's in Carolina. I'm going to say you should win. So, let's look at the standings. Two games left. Oh, do you want to know what my, my birthday wish came true? It just didn't come true for me. My birthday wish came true for you, Jimmy. What was my birthday wish? For you to lose and for me to gain some ground. But part of it came true because you lost. Oh, did I not go over that game? I didn't. Let me go over that game real quick. Idiots out wandering around. Thank you, Mr. Iowa, for Peyton Manning having just a bleh game. I mean, if most, te most teams in, in fantasy football, if Peyton Manning scores under 30, that team has a really good chance of losing. But not this time. Peyton Manning gets 26. And who's this? Uh, Eric Decker only got 12. And he still wins. Thank you, Le'Veon Bell, for having a good game. Thank you, Alshon Jeffries. Thank you, Garrett Graham. Garrett Graham, 24.6 for blowing it up. Thank you for keeping my one-game lead. I love you. So, Fester had a good game from Foles and Donald Brown. When you had Donald Brown in there on Thursday, I was like, well, I guess technically you had to because McFadden's out and that's all you had. So, I must say... Well, could you have played a wide receiver? You could have played Mike Wallace or um, Tony Gonzalez as a flex or Hakeem Nix or Brian Hartline. I mean, that was genius. I give you props for starting Donald Brown. That was just madness. But I love the fact that Adrian Peterson had a horrible game and the Detroit defense did too. Negative three. Thank you for losing. And thank you for winning, Iowa. That was wonderful. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. We'll have to go celebrate with some some Brazilian steak and food. <laughs> so, there is literally... Isn't there just two games left? Isn't there? Yeah, there's two games left. Right? Yep. Yeah, two games left. I am going to be 10-2. and two. Fester will be nine and three, so all I got to do is win one of my last two because I have well over a hundred and almost two hundred more points total than Fester. So all I got to do is win one of the last two, and I will clinch the number one seed. Because wait, will I? Because four Bush is my forte loss. Ooh, hold on now, hold on now. Bush is my forte loss, so he only has seven wins. Holy cow. Holy cow. Banana, you are tied for first, but point-wise, Bush is my forte still ahead of you. But you are tied for first. Banana is making a comeback. This is the New York Giants, ladies and gentlemen. He started out really, really bad, and now he's on a roll. He's making a comeback. we got to put an end to this now. You already know he's probably going to make the playoffs. Oh my gosh, he's going to make the playoffs. Oh, crap. Okay. Dragons, you won. So you got seven wins. That's a three-way tie for first. Too bad Dragons has the worst points, so he's still in third, but he's tied for first, technically. Gilkison has seven wins. Iowa has eight wins. If Iowa wins the next two, and I lose the next two, we're tied for first. But I clearly have more points. All I gotta do is win one more and I get the number one seed. Ugh! And Gilkison won. Wow, this is really gonna be a nail biter coming down to it. Holy cow, we got four teams with seven wins already. There are, well, yeah, four teams with seven wins. Well, three teams with seven wins. These are like not first place teams currently. One team with, two teams with six wins. Wow. It sucks to whoever is gonna not going to be in the toilet bowl. Obviously, silver and black, your goals are always to make it to the toilet bowl. Unless you must draft like this mega all-star team, and then you're like, then you might have a, you feel like you have a chance. But every time I talk to you, you're like, yeah, I'm just trying to get to the toilet bowl. Man, you can't have that mentality. That's like if you're the, who, Jacksonville Jaguars saying, you know, 
I'm just trying to get that number one draft pick in the in the draft. Is that really worth it every year to go for that number one pick or to go for the toilet bowl? All you're doing is winning your money back. So anyway, I'm off my soapbox. So um, this is going to be a crazy two weeks. And the last two weeks are division games. So obviously we will find out what's going on real soon. I'm trying to think. So I know that I have to play Fester, and I think I play the Devils. Do I play Devils or Bad Influence? Next week I play... Who do I play next week? Well, let's just see. Week number 12. Bush is my forte, plays Dragons. I think that will actually be a tough game. I don't know who's going to win. I'm going to flip a coin. <laughs> Bush is my forte. <coughs> Congratulations, Mark. You have now received the jinx of the quarry. Banana Hot Sea vs. Groupers. Another tough game. But, Banana, you should win. Sea of Red vs. the Iowa. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I think Iowa should win. Sea of Red's been on a little bit of a comeback streak, but I think Iowa should win. Iowa's playing, um, what's his name, Peyton's playing uh, Patriots next week, so that could be a shootout, unless the weather's bad. And Peyton did just get 25 points. He's never had back-to-back -back crappy weeks. <coughs> so Peyton's probably due for a 40-plus point game. Gilkison versus Sea of Black. I think Gilkison could pull that off. Devils is playing Charles in charge. Please let me win, Jim. You haven't won all year. Don't let it start with me. Oh, please. Oh, please. And Fester versus Bad Influence. Fester should win. That's a no-brainer. If I can just beat you, Jim, I will be so happy and grateful. Thank you so much. All right, Pickums. Dragons has a one-point lead over me. And then we got Bush is my forte two points behind and then three other guys are behind three two three points behind well by golly the Chiefs let's go on with the Chiefs Man, this is a long video <sighs> Chiefs game I can't you know you, you knew the Chiefs weren't gonna win the Broncos are too tough their offense averages 30 plus points a game Yay, the Chiefs got him to under 30, so is that a, that's a moral victory. We held him to 27. But our offense cannot score. I swear, have they scored 20 points yet in a game? And what the heck? Do you not know how to throw a screen pass to Jamal Charles? I don't know how many screen passes he threw to Sherman and Fasano and um, some other dude. I don't even know who. And McCluster. He tried to throw two screen passes to to Jamal. One of them was kind of like behind him where he couldn't really get it. The other one, yeah, I think Jamal should have caught it. It was that, that one in the end zone. I think it was in the end zone. But anyway, what's going on with our offense? How many times? I mean, our defense cannot just do it all the time. Anyway, it's frustrating. Frustrating, and it was really frustrating that why the, you know they kept saying, "Oh, Peyton gets rid of the ball in two seconds or whatever." Our defense didn't even really blitz like they didn't blitz blitz. I mean, they did a four-man rush, and I hardly ever saw like two uh, just an all-out blitz to get to him. And maybe the, you know it's worth a shot. You're down by two scores. Do some all-out blitz and get to his face. Jeez, I can't wait to see what happens when they come here. Too bad I'll be driving home from freaking Dallas. All right, guys. I'm done with my rant on that. You guys have a good week. And um, next week, Devils. Remember, don't really try too hard. Come on. I don't know if you're watching these videos or not, but give me a solid.